uncertainty, despair, fear were some of the emotions prevalent at the time. Despite the challenges the sector was facing, we would not give up. We had just turned 20. Even though many other organizations had scaled down operations and some even closed, we were still open. We were reflective, anxious, and hopeful. Were the 20 years of citizen-centered investment worthwhile? Were we still relevant? Was our work still of value? What was the health of the sector? And how did it affect our operations? We decided to go back to where it all started. We decided to go back to the citizen. 2018 was about reconnecting with those we claim to represent. It was about staying relevant and cementing our position in the sector. It was about consolidating our gains and making strategic decisions for the future. We decided to assess ourselves and refocus our energies. Our desire to reconnect with our major stakeholders took us places and offered new opportunities. In collaboration with our sub-national partners, we immersed ourselves and sections of local government in the communities where we worked to find out exactly what issues the citizens felt relevant. Rather than decide on our own what would inform our advocacy, we intentionally sought their opinion. Their thoughts and ideas were the basis for which we would focus our work in the coming years. With our advocacy, we work to strengthen child rights governance with UNICEF and in celebrating the Universal Children's Day, a nine-year-old girl was our mistress of ceremonies and we creatively adjusted the conventional NGO sessions to suit children. We held regional advocacy sessions, learning events and trainings for local government officials, media and various stakeholders in the child rights sector. We engaged with and raised awareness on key policies the NGO Act 2016, the Social Protection Policy, the Anti-Money Laundering Act of 2013, the African Charter on Democracy, Elections and Governance, and the Sustainable Development Goals. Our work on the SDGs saw the production of the 2018 Civil Society Report on SDG Implementation in Uganda. On the humanitarian front, we offered leadership and hosted the humanitarian platform for local and national organizations with support from Oxfam. We worked hard to shift the focus from the international organizations and focus more on the first responders that deal daily with refugees. We felt it imperative to build their capacities, increase their visibility and strengthen their operations. In affirmation of our relevance, our membership grew to 684 members. An endorsement of our efforts and a sure sign that the sector continued to trust in us. Our members continued to support and fulfill their membership obligations, contributing to our total budget of the year. We strove to offer leadership at a time when the operating environment for civil society was even more volatile and the shrinking space had many worried. We strategically continued to engage with the Ministry of Internal Affairs and the National Bureau for NGOs. We engaged with several other government institutions as well. When infractions in the rule of law occurred and basic freedoms of the people saw curtailment, we did not keep quiet. We made sure the voices of the sector and those we represent were heard with strategic sector responses to these issues. We also shared our sector commitments for the year and the public and sought to highlight the role of civil society in Uganda's development and the value that NGOs offer to the country. Our work on CSO quality assurance continued and a new mode of operation for QAM was developed jointly with Geneva. We aligned QAM to the global standards. In direct response to our reduced funding of the sector, we leveraged our partnership within and outside the country to amplify the importance of local fundraising and mobilizing support and deliberately pushed for a move from conventional type of donors. 
we leverage the power of collectives on the international front to advocate for an end of impunity and abuse of law, celebrating the AU Project 2018. The Africa Year of Anti-Corruption and the Africa Day of Anti-Corruption. Internally, even with small staff size of less than half the recommended number, we effectively implemented our annual work plans and furthered our efforts towards a coherent, respected and well-informed NGO sector in Uganda. When CASP, the civil society in Uganda support program launched, we jumped at the chance to grow the organization. With support of a GIZ CASP embedded advisor, we developed a change project that would focus on institutional strengthening. Despite the transitions at the board level and the loopholes within the constitution, we were able to continue operations and welcome two new members to the board. As an organization, we supported several of our staff to acquire new skills and even they, through their own initiative, gained more skill and expertise that expanded our portfolio and contributed to the delivery of our mandate. We could not have achieved all we did without our donors and development partners who offered support and funding over 3 billion Uganda shillings. We could not have been who we are without our stakeholders. Our 21st year was a productive one. Armed with citizen-generated issues for advocacy, continued support from our membership, sections of government, donors and development partners, we are more than hopeful. We are ready and prepared to face 2019 as a stronger sharing and reflection platform for NGOs in the country. The citizen is now even more central than ever before.